Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome back to my shop, or my new shop, I guess. <laughs> if you missed my previous video on getting the shop set up to this point, we basically converted this two-car garage into a bright, well-lit, uh, welcoming workspace, which uh, has changed quite a bit from when it was, you know, a couple months ago before I started that process. Today, we are going to be moving all the machines over from the old shop, which is, uh, I've actually been looking forward to this quite a bit, because I have been here We've been living in this house now for about a month, and it's been really, really hard for me to not have all my things here. <laughs> so I've been buying a lot of duplicates of things. Like if I don't have uh, pliers or a wrench, I'll go buy a wrench, because it's easier to go buy a new one than drive all the way to the other house and pick up the thing I actually need. So today, tools are coming here, and we'll get things kind of organized and set up where they're going to go. Before we get started, I wanna let you know this video is sponsored by Refrigerware. I am uh, wearing the jacket, the gloves, and the boots today. It's, uh, well, it's kinda warmer for December here in Minnesota, but it's still December in Minnesota, so it's 25 degrees today. Not super cold, but I mean, I think some of you think it's probably super cold. <laughs> so I'll tell you more about Refrigerware's awesome line of uh, warm, outdoor, cold weather gear uh, later on in the video. First, we're gonna get started. We're going to be heading over to the old house with the skid steer so I can move all the machines with it. And I'm also going to be picking up a 26 foot box truck along the way. So Lindsay and I are going to be spending the day today doing that. It's, uh, it's Sunday. So I picked up a couple of logs the other day. I need to get those off the trailer real quick, get a skid steer onto the trailer, and then we can head out to the other house and pick up whatever's going to fit. <laughs> Don't forget to secure your attachment. Okay, how excited are you to drive the truck with the trailer and everything? I'm very nervous. <laughs> I almost want to drive that more because I feel like it'll be easier. I don't think it's going to be easier. Okay. <laughs> Big truck. Yeah, there's a little bit of room in there. So here is the uh, the current shop. This is what you've seen me in. Everything you've seen me make has happened here in this 20 by 20 by seven foot tall space. And uh, it's it's a little bit uh, it's a little weird today being here, thinking this is all gonna go and be out of here really soon. So Lindsay's gonna walk in. We're gonna do a quick walk around the shop as it is right now. It's uh, it's extremely messy right now, which I wouldn't say is you know out of the norm for me, but it's especially messy because it's been like, I've been doing a lot of different little things here and there. So the plan for today is to get all of the big things onto the truck. I'm not super worried about all the little things right now. Uh, we'll take what we can, but the idea is going to be that the drawers are gonna be full of stuff, the cabinets are gonna be full of stuff, things are gonna be strapped to the horizontal surfaces, and that's gonna make a lot of the little stuff go a little bit quicker. So I think we're gonna probably start on this side, but we're gonna have the jointer, over here, I got the bandsaw. We have the toolbox, which is the one thing that I'm like the most concerned about putting in the truck. Everything in the shop, like, I guess like, you know, hobbyist-ish type machines are fairly light. So everything, all my machines are under a thousand pounds, which my skid steer can lift without a problem. Toolbox fully loaded with tools might be pretty close to that, but we'll see. So we've got uh, those three, planer, the outfeed table and the table saw, all of the, well, the alfi table and my assembly table is actually on wheels, so I can drop it down onto the wheels and wheel it around. That's true of all of my other tools as well. So all I have to do is use the skid steer to set it on the back of the truck, and I can wheel them inside the truck area and put them where they need to go. Back here, Bridgeport is staying. I haven't finished working on it yet, so I think it's going to be a little bit easier now. I'll have the whole shop completely emptied out. I can have a lot more room to work around this thing, take it apart, and do all the painting on it later on uh, this winter. 
And then coming over here, we have you know, the bandsaw, some smaller stuff. The assembly table is also on wheels, so that can be wheeled around the truck as well. And then we have you know, the, little, the carts for the boring machines, this desk, which is not on wheels, and then the Rubo, the, uh, the lathe, and then the dust collector. The lathe and the Rubo, not on wheels either, so they're going to go in last, so I don't have to you know, move them around. But uh, that's the general plan for what's going to happen here. We're going to start on that side. I want to put the jointer in first because it is the widest. I'm going to put that all the way to the front of the truck. I'm surprised! Now, let's see if I... Oh, there I did! I found the keys! Oh, for what? For this! Is this a lock them all? Yeah, so that they don't pop now open. Now you don't have the plastic wrapper? Huh? Now you don't have the plastic wrapper? No, it just locks the drawers. Although now I gotta... Here, sweetie, put it here. Now I have to lose these keys. No, somehow. that's where the other keys are, so don't lose them. That was a good surprise. Let's get the jointer. I got out of the door now. I don't know if I'm gonna fit now. Goodbye, drill. I got crushed. <laughs> we'll get some ties on the stuff. At least it's in here. 
while I'm getting the next few tools loaded onto the truck, let me tell you a bit about this video sponsor, Refrigerware. Refrigerware makes incredible cold weather gear that allows you to keep working despite the cold weather. If you followed my trailer build last year, you're likely already familiar with Refrigerware as their cold weather gear made it far more comfortable to be building a trailer in my driveway through the winter. One of the biggest issues traditionally with cold weather gear has been a trade-off between warmth and mobility. To get a lot of warmth, you're looking at a thick layer and eventually you can't move your arms like Ralphie's brother in A Christmas Story. <laughs> with the refrigerator gear, you get both. You can have your cake and eat it too. And I happen to really like cake. <laughs> Through the magic of science and engineering, the gear is extremely warm while remaining compact, allowing for a great range of motion so you can stay productive. While working outside, we may switch between different tasks and some might be more physical. If I'm feeling too warm, the extreme jacket that I'm wearing has several vents which I can open to keep from getting too hot. Now as for extremities, my hands tend to get really cold really fast because I have uh, pretty bony hands, but these gloves actually keep my hands really warm and are still fairly compact and not super thick. So if I needed to have my hands be as warm as they are right now wearing these gloves, I would normally have to wear multiple pairs or some really big heavy thick ones. Now at the bottom of my body, my feet, these boots keep my feet super warm and they're very comfortable to wear all day. I'll include the links for the boots, gloves, and jacket that I'm wearing in this video in the description down below, but be sure to check out Refrigerware's full line of cold weather gear. Thanks again, Refrigerware, for continuing to support the channel. Oh, it's like snow is snowing now. <laughs> it rolls too well. All right, next. Who's next? Are your feet cold? No, I'm good. Yeah, I have trembling feet. I'm really warm. Have... The refrigerator boots. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's there. Hang on. Pop this off. Professional mover.
<laughs> and we'll get a strap on that. Assembled when I got it. Oh my god. No, we put it in here somehow. Look, like put it together over there. How do we do this? Okay, well, that doesn't go. Okay. Well, I think it's done for real now. So yeah, that doesn't look good. So did you just put that one in? Is that the same thing or no? What? Yeah, that one's the same thing. I think it's done.
Jesus. Let me see, let me see. Nope. Keep running. Keep running. As a chuck key falls from the sky. Boxes are getting in the way. Now we regret the boxes. 100% regret the boxes. Oh well. Sorry, boxes. Tell you guy. I'll push the rest of this. Okay. That's all she wrote. Or something. Okay. Alright, we are back. <laughs> Driving this truck was actually kind of fun. I did, uh, I did enjoy it. It's kind of nice to be like up high and you have like a lot of glass around you. Visibility is really good on a truck like this. Although, backing up our uh, nice steep driveway after it just snowed was, uh, you know, not the most fun thing I've ever done. <laughs> but uh, somehow I got up here. So I'm going to start uh, unloading this thing. You know, it's dark now, so the video is probably not going to be as great. But this is uh, essentially just the same exact process in reverse. So, you know, it's going to be the same thing unless something falls off the back of this truck. <laughs> Which I kind of hope that doesn't happen. So that is an empty truck and a shop that is, uh, well, full of stuff, kind of. <laughs> Things are all in here and in the place they were at the old shop. So it actually went pretty quickly. Not bad for like a Sunday afternoon. It took us about three and a half hours to load the truck and then it took me an hour and 45 minutes to get everything off the truck and into the shop. And in the past when I've moved my shop, it has taken me much longer to move fewer things, so that uh, it was nice. There's still a fair amount of small stuff back at the other shop, but it's just nice to have the big things here in their place and the small stuff I can worry about later. Now, uh, since you're probably wondering, let's try this thing out. And a little bit of cover rub. Yeah. This is the drill press that won't die. 
So that's going to do it for this one. Next time in the shop room series, we're going to do a little bit of a, I guess, mini shop tour. I want to show you how things are currently laid out because I'm really happy with the general layout and flow of the shop. And I want to make a few small tweaks just to make things make a little more sense in this bigger space. Now, thank you again to Refrigerware for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out their full line of cold weather gear. Again, links are down in the description down below. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about the new shop, anything back in the old shop, really anything at all, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'll also be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking.